Hello and welcome to RTC on Channel 4. I'm here at the golf course with Coach Chad Thomas of the Lady, Lady Girls Zebra Golf Team. Thanks for joining us this, this afternoon. Thanks for having me. I uh, just wanted to get your uh, thoughts on the upcoming season, uh, but first of all, uh, how many uh, seasons have you been coaching the Lady Girls Golf Team? This will be my 13th year with the girls. 13th year. And um, how much has the game or the rules of the IHSA for girls golf changed since you've been starting to coach? Is there anything they allow you to do now that they didn't 13 years ago? Uh, it's changed quite a bit. Um, when I first started coaching, we uh, coached girls where they wanted to on the course all throughout the year. And uh, throughout the years, they've uh, changed that up a little bit here and there. Now we can coach uh, out on the golf course during dual matches whenever we want. But when it comes to the state tournament time, uh, we can only talk to the players in between holes. So it's a little strange. It's almost like telling a football coach uh, you can use a headset all year long except for the state tournament, and then you can't. But uh, the girls are used to it, and, and uh, they're prepared for it. So they handle it pretty well. That's good. And um, what are some of your goals for this uh, season? Well, we'd like to definitely be a contender in the PRC again. Uh, we, we, we were able to that championship again last year and, and I think we have a team that can contend again and then uh, just keep getting better and, and uh, hopefully be playing our best ball in September when we go to Stonehenge for sectionals. We, that's what we did last year. We had a really good run and uh, so hopefully that's where, where we're at and, and if we are then uh, uh, we'll go see what we can do at regionals then. Um, who are your seniors if you have any this year? I have two seniors. One's actually a newer, newer golfer but um, M Lindsay Mitchell is, is a senior with the most experience, and uh, she plays in the five girls down in the section. She had she gained a lot of good experience last year. And we also have a newcomer who's a senior, Brennan Gibson. She played in middle school and uh, gave the game up uh, for a few years, but decided to come back her senior year, so we're glad to have her. Yeah, and that always helps have a few senior leaders on the team. Yeah, it is, and, and uh, you know, they kind of, uh, they know the routine and kind of keep the girls in line, and and, uh, and they're a lot of fun too. Um, who will be some of the toughest uh, opponents out there, whether it's in sectionals or just in conference itself? Well, um, usually uh, Western is is one of our toughest opponent opponents. Uh, in the in the all the years I've coached the girls, last year was the first year I was able to beat them, so that was nice, and, and it was on our home course. So they're always a tough team, and. Uh, Warsaw, we play Warsaw next week uh, over at Stonehenge, and uh, so they will be a tough team to beat, especially on their home course. So I would say uh, those are probably the two toughest teams we'll face. And, and Culver Academy's always got a solid team as well. And um, what do you expect overall from this uh, group of girls compared to uh, the group of girls you had last year? Well, it, it's going to be interesting because uh, I knew what I had last year uh, a lot more than I do this year. We had... Uh, we had a very solid top five, a five that was returning from the year before. Uh, we, we lost uh, Lauren Doherty and Caitlin Faust and Michelle Henning to graduation this year, and they were they were our three, four, and five. So I have to replace my three, four, and five um, that that were most of the year playing in those spots. Uh, and so we've got a, a freshman, Kinley Lingenfelder, coming in. Uh, to play alongside her sisters, Carson and Covenant, and we're really glad to see her. She is going to be a special player. I, I'm telling you right now, uh, I have not seen many freshmen with the poise that she has, and uh, it's going to be fun watching her push her older sisters. And then also we got Lindsey Mitchell going to be playing for probably most of the year for us, and uh, she she had a nice round the other night to start the year off. She could have been a lot better. She, she messed up a, a couple holes, so... Uh, we're expecting big things out of her. She's going to have some big shoes to fill. And then I think the number five spot could be kind of a revolving door. You know, we, we started Vanessa Henning there the other night in our first match. She had the most experience coming back. But uh, there's some other girls, some newcomers. As I said, Brenna Gibson, uh, Tori Lee is a freshman playing this year. And, uh, or sorry, she's a sophomore playing in her first year. And Rosalie Navarro is a freshman playing in her first year as well. So it could be a revolving door at five. You will just maybe have to go with the hot hand sometimes. So it'll be fun to watch. And that's nice to have options of girls that you can put in there at the five spot and, uh, and nobody that's just a lock there. It's nice to have other options you can always look to. Yeah, it, it, it is nice, and, and it, what it does, too, it creates some competition and helps push the girls to become better players themselves. I got to know, do you get tired of writing the last name Lingnefelter in your uh, um, 
<laughs> when you when you write which players are playing for you on the night, you got to write that three times. Your hand must get a little tired there. I, I, not at all. I, I actually have gotten to the point where I just write uh, the, the letter L, so I don't even write the last name out. I just save it, but it does not get old writing or hearing the name Lingenfelder. And, and uh, so they've been a very nice addition. They're great kids. They work hard, and uh, they've really uh, made Rochester a go to the next level in girls golf so and the last thing I want to ask coach is um, what uh, advice would you have for parents trying to get their uh, uh, young girls um, into the game that is a great question and, it, and it's one that I'm dealing with right now I have a six-year-old daughter and um, I not once have tried to push her into the game the the biggest thing is getting them to enjoy coming to the golf course um, you know, I, I'll bring my daughter Ava out here and, you know, there will be times where she doesn't even pick up a golf club. Uh, she just wants to go look at the fish and, and explore around and that's fine. But if she wants to come here, that is half the battle. But when they are interested, put a club in their hand and let them go. Don't try and get too technical with them. You know, they, they're, they're young kids. Let them have fun. Let them learn. And uh, I've seen her grow, you know, in the last couple of years and, and uh, become a, a much stronger, just a, a kid, you know, and now she can swing the club a lot more different than she did even last year. And it's fun to watch. And, you know, if she wants to play the game, that'd be great. If she wants to do another sport, that's fine too. But uh, she knows that, that golf is, is uh, important to me and, and she likes being out here with me. So it's, it's our nice little getaway, but just make it fun. Don't push the kids. I saw Tiger Woods the other day. Uh, give an interview he had his son with him at his most recent victory and, and he was asked that same question and he said it doesn't matter what he wants to do um, you know it's up to him his dad uh, uh, Earl Ty Earl Woods never pushed him it was Tiger pushing his dad to bring him out there his dad actually wanted him to play other sports and he tried so um, you know don't force the kids let them decide what they want to do and, and uh, if they show a love for it then you know help uh, help spur that on yeah, I agree with everything you said there, and even there's a Mill Creek Golf Camp there in the summer, and even the Elks have a golf clinic, which is nice mm -hmm. for younger kids to uh, get involved in. It, it really is, and it, you know, um, uh, Phil Dalton started a, a, a you know, the, the Backcracker Open that helped fund that years and years ago, and, and that's kind of gone by the wayside, but Lyle Lingenfelder, the head pro here, still has his junior clinic out here every summer. It's in early to mid-June. It's free. He's got different age levels and that's a really good way for the kids to get out here and see if they like it at a young age. Uh, you know, they're out here for an hour a day uh, all week. The, I know the Elks has one. I'm not as familiar with their program, but I know they've had good turnouts in the past. Um, just growing a game and getting them, you know, it's a game that they can play forever. And, uh, you know, it, it's not one of those games either that, that is as expensive as people make it out to be. It can be an affordable game, especially for juniors. We have some fabulous junior rates for the kids out here. Um, you know, it, it, for them to, to buy a, a junior membership, to play all the golf that they want, it's, it's very economical. It's not, you know, thousands of dollars like many parents think. And, and uh, for them to be out here and to learn a game, to respect the game, it's a game of honesty and, and uh, integrity. I, I don't know what, what, a, what else the, a parent would want than to cheat your kid to be honest and, and uh, you know, good sportsmanship. Well, Coach, I understand you guys are ranked 12th right now in the state poll, so I want to say congratulations on that. Uh, is it your first time ever being ranked as a girls team? Yeah, it's, it is, and that's a nice honor. Um, I saw that in the preseason polls, you know, that in uh, our, uh, us going down to the state finals and finishing 14th and bringing back three uh, uh, starters from that team, I, I'm sure helped. So it'll be interesting to see if we can live up to that. You know, I... It, whatever happens, happens. You know, they're going to be looking at the tournament scores all around the state to keep those state rankings up. But it's a nice honor for the girls and, uh, you know, shows a lot of the hard work that many of them put in. Well, Coach, thanks for uh, giving me your time this afternoon and uh, good luck this season. Hopefully you can make another trip back to the state. Thank you. I'm Lindsay Mitchell and I'm a senior at Rochester High School this year. Uh, Lindsay, what's your favorite thing about being on the Rochester girls ladies golf team? Um, as other members have previously told you, our bus rides are pretty fun and our practices are also fun. We usually always try to have a good time. Um, what is your favorite memory or memories of being part of this team in the past few seasons? Um, most of the time after a lot of our away matches, we'll go and eat at Culver's pretty much every single time and we always have fun there. So 
Culver's is a popular spot, huh? For us it is. What if you what if the there's no Culver's nearby? What do you guys do? Um sometimes we'll eat at Dairy Queen or we'll just find other restaurants. So pretty much any place that has good ice cream? Yeah. Nice. And uh what is your best individual eighteen hole round? Um somewhere in the nineties, I think it was close to ninety six or ninety eight, I'm not quite sure. And do you remember what course that was at? No. No. And what are some of your individual goals and team goals for this upcoming season? Um, as a senior, I'd like to get some of my personal best scores this year, and I'd also like to make it to state again as a senior. Well, thank you for uh, taking your time to interview with us. I'm Covenant Lingenfelter. I'm going to be a junior. Uh, Covenant, what's your favorite thing about playing on the Rochester Girls golf team? My favorite thing about playing on the Rochester Girls golf team is I would have to say, I guess, I don't know, being with the team on like bus rides and stuff. I feel like that's really fun um, because we just laugh a lot and tell stories and talk about our round and the other team and I don't know, it's just a fun time. I like it. Yeah, just have fun on the bus. Um, what is uh, or what are your favorite memories from playing on the Rochester Girls golf team the last couple seasons? <laughs> well, my freshman year, um, Michelle Henning was a junior at the time, but we went out to eat after one of the rounds at Culver's and we were getting ice cream and Michelle accidentally took one of the kids' ice creams that I had ordered before us and she started eating out of it and then she realized that she had taken the wrong one and so she kind of freaked out and she put it back down. And then the other kid was like, Dad, what happened to my ice cream? <laughs> and so he had to get another one, but we all laughed about that and Michelle apologized, but it was hilarious. I believe your sister just told me about the Zach Zach's story, but you just went to more depth, so that, yeah. that sounds pretty funny. Um, what is your best individual 18-hole round? My best individual 18-hole round is a 77, and I shot that at Chippendale, I believe, last, or no, my freshman year. 77, that is a very solid round. And what are your um, individual and um, team goals for this upcoming season? My individual goal is to have um, a 9-hole average of 38 or 39. I think that would be pretty solid. And as a team, I would like to go to state again this year. Well, good luck this season and thanks for taking the time to interview with us. I'm here with junior Carson Lingenfelder on the girls Lady Zebra golf team. And first of all, Carson, I just want to uh, ask you, what's your uh, favorite thing about playing uh, golf on this high school team? My favorite thing about playing on the high school team is probably the team atmosphere. And I really like getting to know some of the new players and spending time with them. Um, how do you like playing with uh, having two of your sisters on the team? I really like it because they help me out a lot, and I'm planning on going to state this year, so that's good. That's always a good goal to have. Um, I'm guessing you two, or you three, actually co are constantly pushing each other? Yeah, well, I try to. Um, I try to help them to always stay focused, and they try to help me, so, yeah. um, Do you have any uh, favorite memories from the past few years of playing in, on the high school golf team? Well, that one day when we made state and they took us out of the fire truck and then they took us from the school to the golf course, that was really funny. And also, one time we went out to eat afterwards and my friend Michelle took somebody else's ice cream. <laughs> it would be funny because she ate it and then put it back. Well, free ice cream. I mean, I guess you can't, you can't argue there. And um, I'm just curious, what's your best individual golf round you've ever shown? For 18 holes? Sure. Okay, um, that was a 73, and I shot it here. Gosh. Dang, baby, mine's 74. <laughs> so, well, thank you for your time, and I'll let you get back to practice now. Thank you. I'm Kinley Lingenfalter, and I'm a freshman. Uh, being a freshman this year, Kinley, um, w what are you most anxious about being on this uh, girls' golf team? Um, I'm anxious about the long car rides to the golf courses. Yeah, I'm hearing all the girls have been saying that the bus rides are really fun, so, and that they always eat ice cream and stuff afterwards, so that must be pretty exciting. Um, are you looking forward to uh, being teammates with both uh, two of your sisters? Yeah, that would be fun. Do you think you have any competitions, like who can show, shoot the lowest in a certain round or anything? Definitely. I'm going to try and beat them. You're going to try and beat them? Um, speaking of that, uh, what are your individual goals for this upcoming season and team goals? Um, I'm going to try and shoot in the low 30s, and then I don't know about the team. 
They'll have about like an average of low 30s per match and then uh, maybe go to state again. Yes. There you go. And um, what is your best individual 18 hole round? 79. 79. Where was that at? Swan Lake. Swan Lake. That's a good course to shoot that. And uh, who is your favorite uh, PGA professional golfer? I like Ricky Fowler. I thought you might say that. Good answer. Well, thank you for uh, your time this evening, and I'll let you get back to practice. Okay.